Hi guys, today we'll be showing you three awesome tricks to activate cool hidden features on your Mac that you didn't know existed. These tricks make use of Automator app to combine with a voice dictation command so that you can command your Mac to do other cool stuff that Siri is unable to do. I am not sure if you are familiar with Automator app in your Mac. So if you go to Launchpad, here, Automator app. It has the icon that looks like a robot. This app is a kind of hidden or forgotten app that most Mac users don't even know it exists. Some Mac users may used to come across this app but may think it is just a junk app. However, I can assure you that this app is quite useful if you take some of your time exploring it. So without further ado, let's get started. For trick number one, it is for quitting all running apps with one voice command. If you use Siri on your Mac, you may probably know that it can only run apps. It can't close an app, let alone closing all running apps. But with the trick that I'm about to show you, you can close all running apps with just one command. Again, all these tricks that I'm about to show you make use of a forgotten app called Automator. So let's go to Automator here, click on it, you click on New Document, and because you want to use your voice to control your Mac, Click on Dictation Command, click Choose. So the first command is you want to quit all running apps. Go to Utilities and here you can see Quit All Applications. You can either drag and drop or just double click on it like this. So it will pop up on this side. And at the top here, you say Dictation Command. This is what you want to type, you want to name your command. Because you have to say that name and make sure you write no more than two words. Because you don't want to say a long sentence just to command your Mac to close all apps. So just put Quit All. Again, you can put any name as you like. Don't forget to tick here, Command Enable. And this is where you want to add apps that you don't want to be closed when you say this command. I want to add one app because right now I'm using ScreenFlow and because I have to show you that when I say the command it closed, I want to add it here so that it won't close this because I am recording now. If it closes this app, my recording will be gone. So I add exception to this. But for you, you don't have to add anything because you want to click quit all apps. But because right now, I don't want this app to close, I just add exception here. Click on file, you can click save, or you can just click command S here. So command S, and you type in the name quit all, click save. Because I already saved this once, that's why it asked me to replace. But for you, it won't ask you this question. Now you're ready. But one more thing I forgot to tell you is if it is the first time you're watching my video, you need to go to keyboard here, dictation. And make sure you turn this on first, dictation, turn it on, and also tick on use enhanced dictation. Tick there and it will require you to download 1.2 GB of dictation file. After you download it, head back to accessibility, go to dictation and here you need to tick enable the dictation keyword phrase and here again is the word that you have to speak to command your Mac so make sure you type no more than two words and try to use easy word you can use hey or hi or hold or whatever you want to put here or activate or start or stop it's up to you so I, I put go here because it's easier to say and I think it's more professional but you can change to whatever you want okay let's say I have these apps running so let's start our command the first command go quit all Okay, you can see all these app that has small dot next to it all gone. Just one command. But the app that I don't want it to close is still running. This is the first trick. Let's move on to trick number two. Trick number two is to start screen recording, video recording and audio recording using only your voice. Again, all these tricks that I am showing you make use of your voice as a main ingredient to activate these hidden features. So just go back to Automator. Again, click on Dictation Command. Now, you want to record video. Click on Movies. And you can see this is the logo of QuickTime app. So, some of you may probably know that QuickTime, you can use it to play videos. And also, you can use it to record screen or record video or audio file as well. So, to record screen, you click on New Screen Capture. Double click or drag and drop. So, I want to record screen. When you say this command, it will start opening a screen recording page and you have to click on the bottom to record. But you don't want to do that, you want it to automatically record when you say this command. So you need to add one more here, start capture. So when it open this page, it will start automatically. Again, you need to save it, command S to save. And I want to record screen, save. Again, just replace for you you won't see this message pop up and I want to add all of it first before I show you so to add the new command you need to click file new or you just click command and start another one 
go to the same movies now you want to record video here new video capture double click and again you want it to start automatically here and you type in the name record video don't forget to take this to enable it click save record video save again now another one movies you want to record audio double click on this and again start automatically take this record audio command s to save record audio save now you're ready to say the command again because right now i am recording the screen using screen flow i cannot show you the command to record the screen again but i can show you the command to record the video not the screen go record video okay you see it start what happens if you want to stop the recording you just go to automator you add another command so to close just go to movies again but this time you double click on stop capture stop recording click enable and you click command s to save stop recording save now let's say the command go stop recording okay and for some reason this message pop up they say the action stop capture encounter an error but it's okay i have tested so far only this feature has problem you just click okay it's fine it still works the command and you see the video here okay you see it start let's do another one audio recording the same stop recording command you can say it to video recording or screen recording or audio recording it all works you just add only one command at the moment so let's try again with audio go record audio again it's starting and you don't want to click on it go stop recording and it stop again pop up arrow but it's fine because the command works so this is trick number two let's move on to trick number three the last trick trick number three is to start keynote slide go to the next slide go to the previous slide and stop slideshow using just your voice you want to control your keynote slide presentation by only using your voice and now you can do that so again go to automator click on dictation command and now you go to presentation here and because you want to start the keynote slideshow double click and you say slideshow tick save it start slideshow save you want to add another one you want it to go to the next slide again presentation see here it says show next keynote slide enable it put next save and add another one you want it to go back to the previous slide show previous keynote slide here double click on it back again you can type any name you want but i would just put back it's easy save it save also you want it to stop the slideshow presentation stop keynote slideshow take this stop slideshow save place now you're ready here yeah, have a presentation open it okay now you're on this page let's use the command that i just added at the moment go slideshow okay you see it start now i want it to go to the next page i say go next go next go next go next now i want it to go back to the previous slide go back go back now i want to stop the slide so i say go stop slideshow Okay, you see it works great with this feature you can impress your friend when your friend see that you can command the slideshow with just your voice they would find it very impressive so these are the three awesome tricks and hidden features that i've just discovered in the old tomato app i am sure that there are more hidden features that you can do with this old tomato app like i said from the beginning if you spend more time exploring the old tomato app you may probably discover more cool features than these okay that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video please click like comment down below and subscribe for more useful video in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video